Hello again, it's Joey John McGuire. Once again, I'm in my uh, local Weatherspoons watering hole, uh, Lloyd's Bar. It's called the Oyster Rooms, and that's uh, on the first floor, top of the escalator, Fulham Broadway. That's Fulham, London, United Kingdom. Uh, started a new book. Uh, I'm waiting for a different front cover, but until then, if the other cover doesn't turn up in time, this will be the front cover of the new book. Second choice. Uh, in such peaceful times, and that is uh, the man himself, Gandhi, by Joey John Maguire. Anyway, if that isn't the uh, front cover, it'll be when. When swallows cannot fly, but I'm waiting for that uh, picture to be drawn at the moment. So uh, we will see. Anyway, my latest poem, written in the early hours of this morning, it's called What's His Name? The pink candy stripe brush cotton pajamas, his dishevelled appearance, the five o'clock stubble should have been a dead giveaway, enough at least to send alarm bells ringing in the otherwise mundane silence of any civilized community, however deeply it was sleeping, but not the case. Unfortunately for him, the years spent slipping into an unsteady obscurity had all but made him invisible, and if he needed any proof, he only had to count the bustling strangers passing him by without so much as giving him a second look, none of them thinking to offer help, none showing signs of any compassion, too busy in the fast lane, living out their fantasies in frantic coexistence, though all of them one step away from his loneliness. He was lost yet only one block away from the safety of his childhood home, his cocoon, filled with half a century of memories that in his confusion had become permanently forgotten to him. Imagine not a single memory to spark a light in his eyes. His toes were numb, frozen below Celsius, his cheeks and lips blue from cold, his last meal could have been days previous, judging by his appearance. His skin, worn, thin, hanging over twisted, brittle bones. By all accounts, he had been dead for at least ten years, so much for care in the community. It's quite something when the neighbours refer to him as what's-his-name. You know, Mr. Lonely, leave me alone, and Christ, doesn't he smell? He didn't move. In the early hours of a biting cold winter's morning, they would find him, still sitting on the bench, barely clothed in a familiar street that had seen out all his days. Stiff as a board, dead as a doornail, just another John Doe, undeserving of a headline in the tabloid, but at least a mention in the local news, page 7, bottom left, small column local man dies alone, frozen to death by the grip of loneliness. No compassion given, a tragic event, but a sign of the times that no doubt will quickly be forgotten to our shame. I think uh, that situation happens many, many times the world over, and uh, I think I'm right in saying shame on us all. I speak from experience, I have been homeless in my life.